I think the most important part for us this year, uh, the goals that we have set out for ourselves, is is obviously to qualify for the GLBC Championship Tournament. Um, to do that, we've laid out a bunch of statistical categories to keep track of, but most importantly, to try to win at least 15 matches and really just to flip-flop last year's record and, and this year's record. So uh, we're just trying to make sure that we're going to have a winning season and put ourselves in a position to qualify for the GLBC Tournament. I think the biggest thing that's going to define our team this year is really going to be our ability to play in transition. Uh, we spent a lot of time working with our young setters, uh, being able to set the middles in transition. Uh, we spent a lot of time working on improving our ability to defend other teams. Uh, we've changed our blocking system, we've changed our defensive system, we've even changed our entire offense to try to help us be a little bit more efficient and aggressive in transition play this year. Captains this year, uh, we got Sam Hagley, who is a redshirt junior. Uh, she's going to be one of our captains. Uh, she's an outside hitter. Uh, she really is uh, a really an emotional center for our team. Very competitive, uh, but she's a great leader. Also, Brittany Atkinson and Summer Holder are both of our captains. Um, those three will be the core. Uh, also, Bree Joslin, a, a, a returning senior. Uh, she's a you know an all GLBC player and, and a senior middle blocker. She's obviously going to be a strong leader for our team on the floor. Uh, but, you know, Sammy, Summer, and Brittany Atkinson, those are the three core captains of our program. Our biggest outside is going to be Sam Hagley. She, she's obviously struggled a little bit the last couple of years with some injuries, but she worked really hard this offseason to get herself into great shape, and she's really been playing the best volleyball uh, of her life right now, and, and she's been really excited about being able to get through this season and, and being a go-to attacker for us on the pin. Um, also playing really well right now is, is Cassie. Uh, she's doing a, a great job. Cassie Hick Cahill has come in here and gotten a lot stronger in the offseason and, and playing some really great volleyball. Um, on the right side hitter position, Carly Schmidt, she's just proving to be dangerous. Uh, I'm really excited for what she might do this year. I'm hoping this is a really big breakout season for her. She'll be moving back and forth a little bit from the outside to the right side, but her ability to, to block and just attack at a, an extremely high point is really impressive and, and I'm excited for her and, and hopefully she's going to prove to be on every other team's scouting report this year. Middle blocker, obviously we have first team all GLBC, Bree Joslin coming back. Uh, we expect a lot of great things out of her. She just has a great ability to score from the net, whether it be in transition or side out play. Also one of the best blockers in our program's history. But we, we really need to have her have her have a big year. And, uh, you know, Courtney and, and Rachel, they need to make sure that they're getting the ball to her as much as possible. Freshman, middle, Emily Lynn Mulder, she's really proved to come in here and make some great strides, even as a freshman. And, and Brittany Atkinson also. Those two are going to kind of fight for our second middle position. And, and they both are really competitive and playing extremely good right now. Summer Holder right now is really in control of the libero position, and, and we need her to play well. She's she's so quick defensively. She she can just make plays that a lot of other kids in our team can't make, and and uh, as long as she solidifies our serve receive, she's going to prove to be one of the better liberos in the conference. Uh, setters, also with you know freshman setter Rachel Benash and sophomore setter Courtney O'Brien. Uh, they're both really young, but they're they're learning quickly. Um, you know, it's something that they need to continue to develop. Like I said, playing in transition is a big deal for us, and making sure that we can get balls into the middle blocker position. And and we've really just overall sped up our entire offense. So there's a little bit of a learning curve for those two, but they're 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 just learning so fast, and they're they're making great strides and and being the types of setters that can run the kind of offense that our attackers are able to to play tough in. Well, the GLBC is it's just such a tough team. Um, it's such there's such a tough conference that uh, we're really strong top to bottom. So uh, you know, obviously we've got the the annual standouts of Indianapolis and Missouri S and T, but adding Truman State University to the conference was a big deal for us this year. Lewis is always incredibly tough, um, but I think for us the biggest matches that we need to be thinking about. You know, are the teams like McKendry who are now uh, able to play for a championship, and William Jewell is going to be tough again. 
um, all those teams throughout the middle of the conference, um, they're just they're so tight with each other, and there's so much parity in how how we can all play with each other. So I think being able to beat teams like Southern Indiana and William Jewell and McKendree and and all of those other teams in the middle of, uh, middle of the pack, I, I think it's just going to be tough tooth and nail fight every day uh, through all of our conference plays.